Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Nicolas Valen speaking, Yachting Arts Magazine. Today, dear viewers, a live report from La Rochelle on the Jano booth to discover a world premiere, the first presentation of the new Jano Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. For this presentation, let's meet Vincent Piel. Vincent Piel is outboard uh, product manager at Jano Shipyard. Vincent, good afternoon. Hello, Nicolas. Vincent. Uh, a lot of proud at Jano Shipyard today in La Rochelle. It's the first presentation, a world premiere of a strategical model, the new Jano Mary Fisher 695 Series 2. Uh, 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 strategical model, one of the biggest sales level uh, at Jano. Yes, we are, we are very happy to, to present you today the new Mary Fisher 695 uh, Series 2, which is a uh, the second generation of 695 uh, with outboard engines. Uh, it's a very important model for us. Uh, it is a best seller and it is a market leader in this segment uh, on the market. We, are, uh, we show this boat, in fact, the world premiere was in Oslo Boat Show uh, two, weeks, uh, two or three weeks ago. And here we are on, in La Rochelle to, for the French premiere. So, uh, what was the brief when you, you decided to launch a, a second series of this uh, strategic model? Well, we made a completely new model, uh, completely new boat. We just kept the hull, which is uh, excellent uh, from the Series 1. Uh, we kept the hull and the system inside, the tanks, for example. Um, but we made a completely new deck, completely new accommodation layout uh, on this uh, Series 2. Uh, in fact, the brief was quite simple. We, we said, okay, we take all the new stuff and all the advantages you get usually on the 795, which is a big brother, uh, the, the, the bigger model in the, in the range. And, and we bring all those features uh, in the small, more compact package, let's say, uh, because the boat is, uh, uh, is uh, less wide. It's uh, 2 meter 55, which is uh, just below the European uh, limit for transportation on the road. Um, and also it makes the boat more simple, I mean, in terms of uh, 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 spot in the marina, if, you, if your mooring is a bit more uh, tight, it makes the boat easier to use. And uh, in fact, you, you get almost everything from the 795 in this uh, 695. Yes. And first of all about design, the, the lateral uh, design of the uh, Mary Fisher 695 Series 2 uh, is directly inspired by the, the Big Brother. Yes, we, you, you see the, the Jano identity with uh, those big windows on the side that are going down to the deck uh, in order to have a maximum uh, visibility and light on board. Uh, wh when you sit inside, you really get the feeling that you are uh, sitting outside, in fact, uh, with a lot of ventilation, uh, big opening windows on the side and uh, all this, uh, let's say, uh, DNA and identity from Jano. So we'll discover the rear of the boat. So explain you what you, you did developing this model. Well, the trend is very much uh, going uh, into the outboard range. Uh, we have uh, so we have the possibility to put a, a wide offer of engines from 115 horsepower up to 175 uh, horsepower. It, it, it gives a boat which is uh, very nice for the family. You can, uh, you can cruise uh, slowly, but you can also uh, be much faster uh, and have a very dynamic boat on the water uh, with the bigger horsepower. And what we did uh, in terms of design on the, on the back, we, we, our target was really to, 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 to open the boat uh, uh, to the water to, to, for swimming, for example. Also, uh, we have this big platform uh, that makes uh, the, the access to the swim ladder easier, but it makes also the, the boarding on board uh, much easier uh, from the dock. Yeah, with a comfortable balcony and uh, easy access to the, to the cockpit. Yes, we have easy access to the cockpit and we made a big work uh, to, to optimize the space uh, both inside and uh, outside. And as you can see, we have a very uh, wide cockpit for that size of boat. Yeah, what is impressive, you, you can, uh, you have a lot of uh, seats uh, for a quite small boat. Yes, we have many seats, in fact, and uh, we, we, have, we have some few tricks for that. Uh, one of the tricks is uh, 
uh, to optimize the space on board is to move backward uh, the, the backrest uh, closer to the engine to optimize the space on board and with a sliding system so that you can still lift the engine up uh, when, you, when you are, in, for example, in the marina. Let's show us uh, how it works. It's a really easy uh, way of handling. Three seconds. So it's really a very uh, simple system. You just uh, slide with one hand uh, all the bench forward. And, and the benefit is that you can also keep the seats available when you, when you have the engine up. And you can really see, I can make it again if you want, it's very easy to, to maneuver. There is a, a possibility, an option, to have more, uh, more seats uh, in this uh, saloon. Yes, here, here for, the, for this boat show we, we have on the display the L-shaped cockpit uh, with this um, extra storage, extra bench on the side. There is a, there is a nice storage uh, inside, but you can have another box here, uh, which is just screw on the deck with some extra storage, extra seats to have a U-shaped uh, cockpit, so very comfortable uh, aft saloon, with the possibility to transform this U-shaped cockpit uh, into a complete uh, aft sun pad. So now, discover, let's discover the, the saloon of the Mauritius 695 Serie 2. Uh, strong evolution huh, uh, uh, in comparison with the former model. Yes, because uh, again, uh, with some tricks, uh, <laughs> some let's say clever, clever uh, design, we, we have optimized the space uh, on board to, to enlarge uh, the saloon, to, to, to give more visibility. And uh, here on the screen, you can see we've got a galley where you have um, um, a gas stove uh, with a gas bottle. So it's really a comfortable way uh, for cooking. And, uh, and the saloon on the front, we have uh, enlarged uh, the table. Uh, now it's, uh, you, can, you can fold it uh, into two parts to have a, a wider table, but also uh, the possibility to close it. And this gives uh, access so that you can maneuver the front bench to transform in really one second uh, to, to, to be in a co-pilot position, in a navigation position, so that everybody, all the co-pilots and the pilot are facing the sea. What is very interesting with this solution is the integration of a very deep storage under the seat, very deep. Wow. Strong advantage of this model where you can store a lot of things aboard. So we will look at the front and the night the night part of the boat. So with uh, some extra cushions uh, when you are in a uh, sleeping uh, mode you can enlarge uh, the the sleeping area and uh, on, on starboard side we've got uh, a toilet compartment which is uh, an enclosed toilet compartment which is optional so it means that if you want some even bigger uh, bed you can uh, have some extra cushions and in this toilet compartment you've got a marine toilet uh, with a waste tank of course and also a sink uh, and an excellent ventilation with an openable port hole. What uh, about the piloting experience? Well, as I said, the, the outboard engines uh, really provide uh, a funny way of uh, driving the boat. Uh, it can be really a lot of fun. Uh, it can be quite fast. And um, we've got, you see, on the uh, new ergonomics to optimize the space on the dash in order to, to integrate some bigger screen. Uh, now here on uh, on the boat, we've got a 9-inch Garmin, but you can go even up to bigger screen, like 12-inch. Um, here, you see, we've got uh, also something important, which is a bow thruster, um, which is um, a very uh, useful equipment because it will make all the, the maneuver much easier and, uh, and uh, it will really help you to drive the boat.
What are the, the range of uh, outboard engine uh, that can fit this model? We can put uh, from, let's say, one to make it simple, from 115 horsepower, 150 as well, and up to 175 horsepower. Maximum speed. Let's make us a dream. Uh, the max speed is uh, you, you will be easily, whatever the engine, you will be a, a cruising speed of 20, 25 knots. Uh, so in a comfortable way for the, for the family and with a bigger engine you can reach uh, speed like 35 knots and I if, if not more. So as a conclusion, uh, this model was uh, showcased for the first time in Oslo and now in La Rochelle. How was this model welcomed by uh, clients and market? Well, the feedback from the, from the dealers and from the, from the customers uh, is excellent because uh, one, one signal for me, which is always interesting uh, when you are part of the design team, is uh, when you've got owner of the previous generation who are coming on board and they say that they love their existing boat, but they say, oh, it's even better now with the new generation and uh, I, I'm going to change for sure. And when, when people immediately, without saying anything, when they see all the improvement on the boat, that's a good signal and it's uh, very promising for us for the future of the sales. Thank you very much, Vincent. Yeah, you're welcome, Nicolas.